high. So the next transmission is source qualifier transmission. So up to now we have created so many transmission. So in the transmissions when you are dragging the sources automatically it's creating a new source qualifier. So what are the columns we have in the source? The same columns we are getting in the source qualifier also. Okay. Because using source qualifier only we can pass the values from source to another levels like into the target or into the transmission. So not only that in source qualifier we have lot of properties. So first I will explain what are the properties we have. Here I am opening the mapping. Create. I am creating a new mapping here. Okay, drag and drop the source. Okay, and I'm creating, I'll create the target after completion of the properties and the explanation. So here we have source qualifier. So if you're dragging any type of source, automatically we'll get the source qualifier. So here we have ports. These are the ports are input and output ports by default. And in properties, we have lot of options. SQL query, user defined join, source filter, number of sorted ports, tracing level, select distinct, pre-sql and post-sql. So lot of options we have. So source qualifier, the performance wise, it will help a lot. So here, for example, if you want to join with any other table, if you want to join with any other table from the same database, so we can create join condition. For homogeneous tables, for homogeneous sources, we can use source qualifier to join the tables. Left outer, right outer, full outer, equi join. So any join condition we can create here for the sources. And next is source filter. Source filter here also we can apply the filter condition like department number equal to 20, salary greater than 1000 and department uh, name is so and so, designation is so and so. So like that we can add the filter conditions also here. And next sorted ports. In this table, if you want to sort the table on the department number, then mention one. If you mention two, first time one and two columns, it will sort the records. So based on the number, it will pick the columns and it will sort the data in the table. So tracing level, already we know for the session log, we are using the different tracing levels. By default, we are using normal. And next, distinct. If you have duplicates in your source, so we can eliminate those duplicates using select distinct option. And next, pre-sql and post-sql. 
So we can write the queries in pre-SQL and post-SQL. In some projects, we are loading the data means we are loading the data into the target every day. So every day we are truncating and reloading the data into the target. So at that time we can use pre-SQL and post-SQL. Before loading the data into the source qualifier, you can truncate the table or you can update the table. So any SQL query you can write in pre-SQL and post-SQL based on our requirement. Okay, so like this, we can apply join and filter, sorted ports, tracing levels, distinct, pre and post SQL also. So I'll explain with another table, the combination of two tables, how we are joining, how we are overriding the query, how we can apply the filters, how we can apply the joins, I'll explain. So the difference between normal joiner transmission, normal filter, normal sort, here we are retrieving the data from the source into the source qualifier. So when you are reading the data from the database at the time, these conditions are we are applying. So for example, here in EMP table, we have 10, 20, 30. So if you mention filter like department number equal to 20 means from database we'll get only 20 department records, not other records. So in real time we are working with millions of records. So like this, the unwanted data, we can remove the initial level. So when you are reading the database, data from the database at the time we can apply these conditions so we can remove we can avoid unnecessary data so automatically it will improve the performance so the unnecessary data it will filter so that's why it will improve the performance so that is the major difference between normal filter and normal joiner and other options also In most of the projects, in most of the mappings, so what are the maximum conditions, requirement, requirement related conditions we are applying in the source qualifier? Okay. So first I'm drag and dropping a new other transmission. It's EMP here. So those two tables are from the same database uh, like Scott. Okay, these two are the homogeneous. So for heterogeneous, we cannot, uh, using source qualifier, it's not possible to join the heterogeneous sources because session level connection is required. We will get only one source qualifier condition connection in session level. So that's why for heterogeneous, we have to use the joiner only. So heterogeneous and homogeneous, that is another thing. But first, when you want to join any two tables, the requirement is two tables contain the common column. So when the two tables contain the common column, then only we can join the tables. That is the first thing. So here we have already department number in two tables, so we can join these tables. Okay. So I'm creating a new target, the combination of uh, EMP and D DPT columns. columns here I'm adding D name and location columns D name and location D name var care and this is location this is also var care okay I'm changing the table name also So if you want the primary key, you can add or you can disable also. So I'm generating the table in the database. Okay. 
create a table created. EMP underscore DPT. So here drag and drop the target. So already we have source qualifier. We have to remove that one first. Then we can create a new source qualifier. So if you have a number of uh, sources, then just remove the source qualifiers. Then create a new source qualifier transmission here on two tables. Okay. So from here you can uh, drag and drop into the targets. Auto link to target from source to target. Okay, location, the name is different, that's why it's not connected. Okay, so here ports, go to ports, ports are normal, input and output, in properties, we can generate the query, yes, generate SQL. So here we have, this is the join condition, automatically it's created because the primary key and foreign key relationship, we have the tables, in between tables, okay. So here we have department number, department name, location. So every each and every column from each and every table we have here. Okay, if you want to apply any conditions like department number 20 or salary or high date, any conditions we can add. Okay, department number, D name, location from DPT table, the remaining columns from EMP table. So from DPT and EMP where DPT dot department number equal to EMP dot department number. So if you want to apply the filter, we can apply the filter. If you want to join any other joints like your left order, right order, or if you want to join any other table from the same database, we can join. And we can sort the information and we can distinct the uh, uh, columns uh, pre-sql and post-sql also we can apply okay so mapping validate let's see so workflow i'm creating a new workflow for this source qualifier new session for this mapping sq Connections for source and target. Scott. This is also Scott. I'm changing this normal. Okay, source qualifier. Here we will get only one source qualifier, right? So that's why we cannot uh, join uh, heterogeneous sources. So we have to give only one connection. If you if the sources are from different database, there is no option to give the connection. So if you want to join heterogeneous sources, we have to use uh, uh, joiner transmissions. Okay, it's valid and saved. Workflow, start workflow. So we will get 14 records uh, because we have the primary key on uh, EMP. Okay. 14 records we got so you can see the output here okay department 20 details research and Dallas okay so like this we can join multiple tables using source qualifier if the tables are from so homogeneous means if the sources are homogeneous we can so here i'm applying one filter condition okay where department number equal to 20. i'll truncate the table the target table before doing this we need to refresh okay so here i'm enabling the truncate option for the target and get in reload for every load okay workflow start workflow 
we will get only 20 department related details okay mm. just i want to check whether it's applied or not okay sorry so here we need to override the condition otherwise it will pick only that one okay every time after changing of everything we need to so otherwise it will not applicable the new changes okay if you want you can check that uh, override query here also so then you will get clarity whether it's updated or not so department 20 now it's added start task so five records so from source we got only five okay 20 department related right okay so i'm again i'm selecting like sorting sorting on dining uh, so like this we can apply multiple conditions also name we sorted we'll see it's d name oh d name is here it's only one but anyway so we can uh, apply sorting or anything so we can apply okay so this is the source qualifier source qualifier is active and connected type of transmission here by default we have input and output ports so law different properties we have using sql query override we can uh, add other uh, options also okay so join we can create filter we can apply sort we can apply we can uh, eliminate the duplicates also we can apply other uh, queries also in pre sql and post sql like update condition also we can write insert conditions also we can write here so before loading uh, before reading the data from the source uh, the source qualifier will perform the pre sql queries after uh, reading the data from the database post sql queries will execute the same way we have in the target also in target pre sql and target post sql okay this is the table name and this is the name pre prefix like uh, if you have any uh, database name like uh, ods dot the table name mrdev the table name so like that we can add that uh, table name prefixes also database names okay next to transmission we can see on joiner to join heterogeneous tables okay. thank you